Yes, we're coming into this new addition that we're doing here. It's about fourteen hundred hours right now. Fourteen hundred hours. Sure, I'm hungry. Oh, welcome back. Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to this edition of this our custom home. I'm getting ready to do the second room now. <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is just cleaning off my broad knives. Getting ready to run up <clears throat> different types of of uh, floats on top of this uh, on all these joints here. Now, as, as you look in this room, particularly, it still lacks a little bit. You still have uh, joints that ain't finished. Uh, you have uh, <clears throat> a patch that needs to be done. Your corners that uh, also need to be uh, taped and floated. <clears throat> now, I've been working on this joint here. This belly, this. Uh, this butt joint is pretty, particularly pretty tough one. For the simple fact, this one is just a real bad joint. Now, what I've done is loaded up my <clears throat> my pan with quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of joint, uh, joint compound. Cleaning off the edges. Whoops, almost, almost had an accident there. <laughs> I'm Mike O'Neill, by the way. Mark Johnson's in the back videotaping me. He's audio visual today. Now, let me get on my three foot ladder. Four foot, excuse me. Now what I've generally done in this area right here, you want to use your knife that has your bow on it. That kind of makes makes your, your joint. Now what I'm doing here, <coughs> just trying to straighten out the joint compound. Making sure I don't have any edges, any rough edges. And like I said in the last segment, you want to make sure your the ends of your uh, of your of your joint or of your uh your the coats you're applying are not rough. Now if you look particularly you can tell the difference. If you look down here, you can tell this is just rough and coarse. It's just a bad joint altogether. <clears throat> this is just uh been building and building. Now what I'm coming and doing is actually almost putting a finish coat. Like I said in the last segment, fill your knife up, start from the bottom of your joint, all the way to the top, and repeat your process three times. Now, a lot of people people don't like to double knife their work, but I do. I guess that's just how I know how to work it. So what you want to do is work your mud up. Oops, I got a little bit on me, but that's all right. It shows my wife that I'm working hard. Now what you want to do, <laughs> what you want to do is go around your, the edge of your, of your, of where you're floating, making sure there's nothing, no extra buildup on the bottom or on the edges. All right, and that's generally pretty much done. Just depends how the homeowner wants it. Okay, now would you recommend to tape these joints or just flow right on top of it? My recommendation on this is just to add a, another top layer of a skim coat, put on takeoff. You can actually double knife it if you want it. Scrape off all your edges. Like I said, you want to start about a quarter inch from the wall. Never start from the dead corner. And try to run your mud. Uh, but I'll be, getting to, I'll be getting to that point. Now, if you're in a... <clears throat> this right here is a 12 inch knife. But if you're in debt, if you if you're just dying to get the job done, then I recommend using one of these. This will actually get the job done in the third of the time. You can get this at your local hardware. This is a 12 inch. This is a three foot broad knife. So you can actually you can take float texture the whole entire thing. And come back the other way. You can you can go ahead and texture the whole entire wall just with just with just one simple stroke. Okay. That's all you have to do. Now, would you show me a sample? Like, how more or less would you use that? Now, this is how would you use this broad knife right here. Now, now, not many people use this. A lot of people think this is just out ridiculously ignorant. But not in my, not in my eyes. Waste of, waste of money? Waste of money to a lot of people. What you want to do, you want to grab your fingers. You put it in behind of the knife like this. Now, this is pretty much what I've used on this, on this joint right here. So, what you want to do, you want to get it, you want to run it down. And smooth it off. But since that's already a finished project, 
Now, I will be able to show you on another I'll, in another segment. I'll show you how to properly use this and how to properly take care of this of this very expensive, inexpensive tool. You can find it at your local hardware hardware store, at any Kmart, uh, at any uh, <coughs> CVS's. Now, let me get back on my ladder. Now, this room is pretty much pretty much in good order. I'm just waiting. Uh, <clears throat> I'm waiting on uh, Mike Johnson to go ahead and start taping this, and he can show you a little bit more an idea of how to properly tape your joints. I'm um, generally doing all the finish coats on top of all the wall of all each joint. Now, right here, <coughs> let me point out a, a few a few a few things. Now, here on these joints, these are all these are are just flat taped. Now, what we're going to come back and do. <coughs> Just right up on top of this, we're going to overlay a bulldoze right on top of this corner, that corner, and that corner, and then repeat steps on mudding, just mudding around the edges on this window, that window, and of course that's a small little uh, <clears throat> closet, but this house is generally getting close, getting close, getting close to it. Uh, nail holes look pretty good. Uh, Angles look in, in tight, and they look pretty good. Now what I'm fixing to do, I'm going to go ahead and take over the camera. And I'm going to let Mark Johnson take over the taping. So can, he can give you a better idea of how to tape, properly tape. Uh, I know our, our video is a little unorthodox compared to anybody else, but that's just how we do it.